Hey guys, it's Christmas. <laughs> Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hey guys, so just a quick warning real quick. I did get a few gifts that I already have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be opening every single one except for the ones that were given to me again. So uh, let's start. And I'm not gonna go too long on these guys because this is, there's a lot of them. And I did get a few uh, gift cards to certain tax stores that have Briar horses. So this won't be the end of my Christmas salute. So I'm just gonna do what I have now and today. I actually got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I didn't expect either. I actually got a new breast collar and new boots. Yeah, and the boots were in my favorite color, purple. So I was super happy about that, and the breast color is absolutely beautiful. I don't have them with me right now, they're actually in my room, and I'm too lazy to go get them. Plus, since it's Christmas Day, and I want to post this by tomorrow, Tuesday, I gotta, you know, make things quick and not awkward. Plus, I need to get back to family. So, anyways, without further ado, let's start. So... The first few things I have are not Briar Horses, they're tax sets, and I actually have every single one of them, which I do plan to keep these because, I mean, come on, it's extra tack. Well, kind of. I got um, the Winner's Circle English set. I'm pretty happy. I, I, I mean, I was a little bit like, uh, I already have it, but, you know, I, I kind of gave my Christmas list in late this year, <laughs> so uh, I just... You know, I, I don't, I'm giving my mom slack, and I love my mom. Then I have the Western Winner's Circle tax set, and I got another Winner's Circle one, and then I got the uh, Winner's Circle accessory kit, kit which is super large. <laughs> I'm not going to open these because I don't really want to throw boxes everywhere, and I'm trying to make everything as pretty as possible right now because then my mom will get mad at me. So I'm just gonna keep these in the boxes for now. And I do have another video unboxing these. I do not know which one has it in there, but I know I have one. I'm gonna start off with the ones that were re not regifted. I keep wanting to say regifted. I'm gonna be showing you guys the ones that I already have. So the first one, it was actually kind of sad when I got the first one because I had a very bad memory with this briar horse. That was when I broke up with my boyfriend. And it was kind of sad because, I mean, he got this beautiful horse for my birthday and I already have this horse. And I'm gonna keep the one that my boyfriend gave me because I don't really want to unbox this one because it'll be worth more money later in the long run. But if you guys keep track, you guys will know exactly which horse this is, but if, for those of you who don't, this is Bandera. I actually love Bandera and I really wanted him, like, really badly. And I, I like him and I love his color and everything and I love all the brands and everything. But it's just kind of sad to look at him. I'm not gonna make this a sad moment. It's only been a few months, maybe three to four months since the breakup so i'm still kind of recovering but like i'm pretty over it but i respect the whole thing so i'm gonna probably exchange this one for a different one that's bandera i'm not gonna open it i'm not gonna do an overview of him because you know you guys already know him and then my mom gave this one to me so it shouldn't be that hard i already went up to her and was like hey can i have the receipt <laughs> but yeah so, so I actually love this horse, um, but there's one problem with this horse, and that's its feet. Its feet really bother me because it doesn't go on the stand very well. And if you guys remember, if you guys even have this briar horse, I'm not sure if every briar horse has this issue with this mold, but you'll know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, this is Baby Flo. I already have Baby Flo. So I'm not gonna open her or anything. I do love the box. It is so, um, I'll just show her to you guys. So that's Baby Flo. Another thing I could probably do with these guys is I could probably paint them, but I don't really feel comfortable painting a traditional briar horse, not yet anyways. I'm comfortable with painting classics because I'm worried if I mess up, it's just something bigger that I've messed up on. 
So I'm gonna practice on smaller horses first. By the way, if you guys wanna check these horses out personally, you can go down in the description below and there'll be links to these videos. Now to the horses that are completely new to me. Not completely, because I've known of them, but like I don't have them. Luckily the rest of them, I did get a lot of priors this year. Um, I do every year. And I also got really good ones. So I'm gonna start with the newest ones first. So the one I'm most excited for, and usually I'd save the best for last, but since we're going to the newest first, I don't know if the newest in order, but you know what I mean. The first one I got was Winter Wonderland, and I love this horse. I mean, he, it's a he, right? <laughs> that is a definite he. <laughs> I'm stupid. I actually have another mold of him. But I've wanted this horse for a while, ever since I found out about him. And to be honest, it's not because of the mold, it's because of the color. I love Palominos. Palominos are like my absolute favorite color of horse besides Maddie's color, which is a sorrel. So this is Winter Wonderland. I've always wanted him. I love the tack. I love the color. I love everything about this horse. So far, I haven't seen it out of the box, but I will unbox these guys after I show you guys the rest. So that's Winter Wonderland. Next, I have, I have no idea how to pronounce her name. Um, Hywin. I got Hywin. I'm gonna call her Hywin. If you guys think it's a different name, you can tell me. Or like how to pronounce it differently. <laughs> but Hywin, that's how I'm gonna say it. I feel bad. Beautiful. Love the dapples and everything. I absolutely love Highwind, and I love the mold of Highwind too. I don't, I don't know why. I just love it. I, it's so different to me. I like it how Briar keeps getting more realistic. You know. Next is now this one. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest about this Briar horse. I did not want this Briar horse at all. I don't know why. I just didn't like it. I, I didn't like the look of it. But now that I have it. I'm actually really happy about it. I actually really like it because I love the mold and everything. I got sugar maple. I didn't want this horse because it was not realistic at all. The mold was, but the colors and the paint and everything and the translucentness of it, I just didn't like it. I was like, yeah, no, I, I don't know. But now that I see it in real life, I am a lot more happy with it. I kind of like the translucentness and I love all the leaves. It's just so pretty. I've seen a lot of beautiful pictures of this horse on Instagram, uh, but I never expected it to actually be that pretty. I thought that was just a light, but it actually is really pretty. Now we're gonna go into the older ones. I only have two more. I have a Bonanza horse. I actually been wanting all of- I want all the horses from Bonanza. I love the show Bonanza. I've wanted all four of the horses, but today I have Adam Wright's a sport. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Adam Cartwright's a sport. Okay, there we go. I've wanted this horse for so long. This horse kind of reminds me of Maddie because of the color. The only part that doesn't remind me of Maddie is the two front legs because Maddie doesn't have any front um, socks. But the blaze, perfect. Back, feet, almost perfect. Not quite, but still. It reminds me so much of Maddie. And I love my horse, if you guys don't know that. You can also check out some of my VPA vlogs for team sorting and penning, and I also have a Fiesta vlog, if you guys know what Fiesta is. It's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, the, the last one I'm actually most excited about, because this horse I've been wanting for ages, and I've never gotten the chance to have this horse, because he's not, he's retired, he's not in stores, so it's the Bonanza horse, but this guy, I actually don't know how old he is, but I've been wanting him forever. I don't know why. He's just so pretty to me. And I know so many people have him, and I'm like, I want to be one of those people who have him. <laughs> I don't know, I get jealous of people who have old models that were popular back then, and I'm just like, I wish I was collecting that far back. <laughs> O'Leary's Irish Diamond, the Irish Drought Horse. I love this horse. I don't know why I love this horse, but I do. I love the mold. I should probably unpackage these guys. This is gonna be a long video, and I apologize. Yeah. I'm gonna start unpacking these guys, and just remember this is just part one of my Christmas loot because I'm probably gonna be exchanging some of these guys. So say goodbye to Baby Flow 
and Bandera because those two I already have. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna be including all of the horses, including the ones that I have already, except I'm doing the ones that are already unboxed, not the ones that I got for Christmas today. But anywho, first off, Bandera. Y'all got, you know, there's a link below. You could see if you really want to hear my uh, thoughts on Bandera. And Baby Flow. If you want to hear my thoughts on Baby Flow, there's a link down in the description that'll take you to her video too. So this is my two Wonderland. I love him. I'm not going to take off his tack. I don't really feel like putting that much effort in. But I love him. I mean, I love all the four socks. It makes him look so flashy. The blaze. Oh my god, look at that blaze. It is so beautiful, you guys. As you can see, I'm moving it a lot quicker today. Um, I love the owls. I think the owls are unique. I've never seen that on horse tack before. But, uh... I don't know. I guess the owls fit. I don't really know what to do with them. But <laughs> can you even take them off? Nope, they're attached. I really like the ribbon. I feel like the ribbon is very and it's kind of like an accent to like his coat color and everything. Although those get in the way when you're looking at the tail. Oh. Oh, another thing I noticed about him is he's metallic. I, I, I didn't know he was metallic. I think it's actually really cool. I actually like metallic briars. I don't know why. It's, they're just very unique and pretty to me. So anyways, that's Winter Wonderland. Next up is Hywin. Hywin's very pretty. Once again, I really like her mold. I absolutely adore it. In my opinion, Briar does a lot of gray horses. So in my opinion, she's a little bit almost kind of bland looking. I'm not saying they should have changed her in any way, but I'm just so used to Briar making gray horses because everybody loves gray horses and white horses. So like Briar just keeps making them. It's not that I don't like her, I love her, but I just feel like she's a little bland even though she does have the dapples and everything. I know she's a real horse, so like, you know, gotta stick with that. But you know, Briar should spice things up a little bit. I love the brand on the side, which we kind of already passed it, but still, I like the brand. I like the highlights in the horse's t mane and tail, and I love the socks on the horse too. I, I don't know why I love this this mold so much. I feel like the horse is like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Mer America, Independence, I don't know. I mean, if you look at it, if they, they could totally make a patriotic horse out of that. Anyways, so that was Highland. Next is Sugar Mabel. Um, now, as you guys know, I don't, I didn't really like this horse in the beginning when I first saw the horse. The horse, I don't really like horses that are non-realistic. It's just not my thing. I like more realistic horses so I can use them in my Briar Horse series. But usually, if I see some sort of value or meaning to them, usually then I'll consider. Like, the Halloween horses are totally unrealistic, but I like them because I felt like I could have used them, which I did use them. And I honestly, I kind of see myself using him in the future for a video, maybe like another Thanksgiving special or like autumn, something like that, the spirit of autumn, something like that. Also in general, he kind of reminds me of maple syrup. I don't know why, he just kind of has that maple syrupy look, probably because it's like autumn and everything. I don't know, and I also really like the mold of the horse, so that's another thumbs up. I'm really surprised in myself, I never actually saw myself liking him in the first place, but I actually do like him. Um, my sister had to convince me to like him, and I'm like, yeah, I guess he's pretty cool. So anyways, that was Sugar Mabel. My sister's joining us, and it's very awkward. <laughs> wait, 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 I have to What? I almost got you this horse. It was like a big one. It was like a paint. It was like... <gasps> oh! It was like Jake, right? Something Jake. No, it was like a, it was like a Palomino and white paint. The bigger horses, like a Clydesdale, not a Clydesdale, it wasn't a Clydesdale, but it was one of the big ones. Um, oh, Palomino, I don't, I don't like this. It was like a Palomino paint, so it was like white in that Palomino color. Mm. And like, I wanted to get that for you, but there were a lot of them in the store, so I thought maybe she already has it since it's so common. So I got you those two because they were less common. There's only like one left of each. So next is the horse from Bonanza, Adam. Cart rides a sport. I've always wanted this horse just because he's on the show. He kind of reminds me of Maddie. Actually, he kind of reminds me of Diamonds. It's my mom's cutting horse, who's kind of sore right now. 
but still. I like the kind of like all American quarter horse feel that it has. I like the muscle texture and everything like that. It has a nice fat ass and everything. But I don't, I, everybody who has an American quarter horse knows that when you have an American quarter horse, they have to have a big ass or else it's, it's not the same feeling. But excuse me. <laughs> but I've never even had this mold before, so it's kind of, I don't know, it's a new feeling and you know, when you get that new model, you're just like, oh my gosh, it's a new mold and you're just like so happy about it and it's just like, oh my god, what? What do I, oh my god, it's just, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming. And look, it's so cute, I love it how it's tilting its head, it's so cute, it's like, hello, feed me? I don't know, I don't know what it's doing. Oh my god, once again, I do like all the four socks again. It, it, it's kind of flashy and it's really cute and everything and all the blaze. See, look how it's tilting its head, it's so cute. It's like, feed me. Even though you can't feed it. I just crushed three people's dreams. I don't know, I just think it's so cute and it's very American Quarter Horse-like. And if you guys don't know, American Quarter Horses are my favorite breed. Yeah, I, it's just because I use them a lot and everything and I have them. And I just love my horse who's an American Quarter Horse. Actually, my horse is an American Paint and an American Quarter Horse. She's half and half. Because like a diamond and then I forgot who her dam is, but... I'll have to look at her registered papers again. I've said that so many times in my brain. So anyways, that was the horse from Bonanza, Adam Cartwright's Sport. And last but not least, for now, there's O'Leary's Irish Diamond, which is the Irish Drought Horse. I'm pretty sure it's the fact that he's one of my favorite model, like, molds. I, I don't know why I like the mold. It's just something I feel like is kind of unique and everything, and I don't know. And I have a Congo of this guy, too. This is my fourth horse in the conga so it's it's a small conga but still i don't know where i'm gonna put them i mean i already can't put them anywhere i love all the dapples i love the texture and the tone of his coat and everything i love this little shadowing right here and i like it how the tail kind of goes like out into like from dark to light i've always loved horses with striped hooves i think i think it's really cute and like in real life it's just very unique and beautiful and most paint horses have it. One of the reasons why I'm, I think I like him so much is probably because of the blaze. It's The blaze is very unique on the horse because he's gray and you don't see a lot of gray horses with blazes or anything like that because they're already white. I love the face, it's so cute. I don't know why. I'm crazy, oh my gosh. I don't, I, I, it just looks so muscular. Like, okay, if I had a boyfriend right now and he ha he, he was a horse, it'd be this guy. That sounds very awkward. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm dating a horse. Although I probably should. I mean, I already act like one. <laughs> so yeah, that was O'Leary Irish Diamond, the Irish Trout Horse. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my Christmas loot. Um, since I'm going to be exchanging some of them, and since I got gift cards to some uh, tax stores in my county, I'm going to be getting more horses, which will technically count as my Christmas loot because, I mean, I got the money for Christmas and everything, and then exchanging some of them will be part of the Christmas loot. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social medias down in the description below. Anyways, I'll, go I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!